Hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pocket Labs. So this is episode 8 of Pocket Labs, and you might have noticed we're not actually in the usual Pocket Labs world. And that's because I'm going to be showing you how to break down into the bedrock layer, and also into the void. So as you see, this is bedrock, and this is basically an... Uh, it's right at the bottom of the world, and it stops you from breaking down into the void, which is below the world. And it's an indestructible block that you can't mine with any tools or anything. However, there is a way which I figured out um, how to do it. I'm sure this has been done before. However, I didn't just like copy a video from this. Um, I figured out that you can actually break into it by using nether reactors um, to build a nether spire, which will break any block, I think. I haven't actually tested it at the edge of the world, so I will do that, and that'll be really interesting. But anyway, so this will break down into this and go into it. So to get to the void, we're going to need three nether core reactors. So um, that is, I believe, 12 gold, um, thinking that you don't uh, get any gold back. 42 cobble and one nether core reactor because you can recycle them. So um, as you can see, I have everything here and pick and like the reason they're 99 plus and these are five is because I did um, inventory edit them in so I could have a lot more than I needed. So um, let's just place down our first nether core reactor. So you just build the nether core like uh, usual and then here we go like so. Do, 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 do. There's our reactor core. Oops, wrong block. You, you die today. And then I will just do this on top, this on top, this on top, and that, and that. So then I also need to grab some of this because I did actually forget to inventory edit some in. And when we finish another core reactor, it's going to be really dark. So I will just take quite a bit of this um, and make it into some cobblestone, just, just, just for future purposes in this video. Because otherwise we're going to be in the dark a lot and it's going to be very annoying. Um, so let's just grab as much as we can, I think. Uh, there should be enough light to light it up. And then we'll break this and carry on going. So now that we have enough, I believe, um, let's activate this. And as you can see, it's basically turned all the bedrock at the bottom to netherrack. So what I did actually, this is actually in um, survival, no, it's in peaceful, just so um, we don't get annoying like zombie pigmen attacking us. However, as you can see, we have actually been able to break down through the layers and now there's a new layer of bedrock so this also works at the sides so um, if we just break some of this down put down some glowstone well there is bedrock there so let's just let's just make all our glowstone and then put some down here so as you see now we're down into two layers into the bedrock layer so that's quite cool and then once this is finished I'll come back to it and I'll break all the obsidian and we'll be good to go Okay, so welcome back, and as you can see, I have basically destroyed all the obsidian, and we've been left with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all of this away, and we're going to build another nether core reactor. So you just need to build it on the lowest layer you can, um, and then we'll just carry on building it. So, oops, I messed that one up already. Um, wow, that was, that was smooth. Uh, let's just do that, then that, that, that. Get out the cobblestone. Doot, doot, doot. Doot, doot, then do that, that, and then we'll use our nether core reactor. So we're just, uh, you know, carrying on building another one, and then this should take us very close to the bottom layer of bedrock. So you need to stand here, and you need to activate it like that. So then, as you can see, it's activated again. I'll put down some glowstone, and we'll basically repeat the whole process until we are finally um, at void. So as you can see, if I just mine down a little... Um, we should be two layers. Yeah, okay, so there's some bedrock there. And as you can see, now we are four layers into the bedrock layer. So this layer right here is basically the bottom layer of bedrock. So that's quite cool. That is very cool. So the bedrock layer starts here, and we've managed to go down deeper than anybody has ever gone. Hopefully, in survival. So then, um, let's just scoop up all of this. And I'll come back when this is finished, and I've broken down all the obsidian, and we can make the final one, and then we can finally get down to the bottom layer, I guess. Okay, so we're back, and what we're gonna do now is carry on mining down to the bottom layer. So let's just carry on digging like this. And as you can see, this is now the last layer of bedrock. However, if we did build a nether core generator thing here and built it, it wouldn't actually have enough room to go down, because under this is nothing, it's just void. So what you need to do is you need to actually make another layer. So let's just make it out of cobblestone right for now. And this just means, because as you can see, it's always two blocks down, and you can't actually build another generator if there is something blocking the bottom block, such as 
uh, just void. So let's just do this. Uh, that is what I believe. I'm not actually 100% sure. However, it has happened every single time that I build it on the bottom layer. It does flash up with all players need to be close to the nether core reactor. Even though I'm playing on single player and I have my server closed. But I'm not really sure how that works. But anyway, let's, let's carry on building it. And then let's go and do this into the bottom layer of the bedrock. So this should be the last um, generator that we need to build. And then we should be good to go. Um, and then you need to stand next to it and let's see if this works. Okay, this happens quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure what I do to fix it, to be honest. Um, I do sometimes do stuff like this. And this sometimes seems to fix it. Um, I may need to go away. I don't know why I went into accident. Might need to go away and fix this at some other point. Um, just play around with it because it won't 100% of the time. Like... It won't, it will do this sometimes, however, they, it, it does happen as though it does um, finally break down into the bottom layer. That made, that sentence made no sense at all. However, if you understand what I'm talking about, then it will just, if you just play around with it enough, um, I don't know, it does sometimes, come on, you noob. Um, hmm, well, I will just go and quickly try and fix this. Okay, so I finally did it, and basically how I did it was I actually jumped and then placed, um, and then hit the block. Um, I had to make a ton of nether generators, however, it's finally done. So let's just finally put down some of this. That did take a while, you might need to make more than one nether generator, or just like play around with it. So what I did was I, I dug underneath it, and then I jumped and I smacked the block. I'm not really sure how that works, but I just went like that, and then it sort of worked. So we stand on a block while you do it, I'm not sure if that would work either. However, let's just go and see the void. So there we go, there we have it, there is the void, and this is all. Can, this can all be done in survival, so I think I'll add this as an achievement on my Minecraft Pocket Edition um, Let's Play, because this is quite a cool little thing to do. So as you see, we have the um, we have the stars below the world, and this is, I think, the only way you can see into the void in survival, unless, of course, you're looking through the invisible bedrock, but um, that is quite cool. So now we are finally under the world, and I think to end the video, we might even jump down into it. So this can actually be used as a fairly, fairly good um, recycling bin. So look, I mean an incinerator, because nothing comes back. So as you see, we're just destroying all of our hard work. So that was a really, a really cool little thing I thought to show you. Um, uh, there we go. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like, subscribe, and goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. And I have actually Invincible, because I did edit that um, before. So I can just slowly fall into the void. It's so beautiful down here. This You can really see the, the moon well. Hello moon. My arm is all like up in the air. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Look at that. Isn't that great? So thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe. Bye!